I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Charlie Henderson. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't seen you since we graduated from Stanford. That was a long time ago. Oh, it sure was, Brad. Say, do you remember the old fraternity grip? Oh, you bet I do, <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know, I'm on my way to the class reunion now. Yeah? I haven't missed one yet. By George, when are you going to start showing up at some of those class shindigs, Brad? Well, I made up my mind to go this year. I've got the calendar all clear, and I'm all set. Boy, I'll bet everybody sure has changed, huh? Oh, <laughs> Get it, James. <laughs> You're going to get quite a shock, boy. Say, it's too bad about Fred Maxwell, though. You know, he won't be there. No? Why not? What happened? Oh, the worst, Brad. He got married and his wife won't let him go. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I didn't have that trouble with my wife, Joan. In fact, it was her idea for me to go to the reunion. She insisted. No kidding? You mean she doesn't mind being left home alone? Well, her Aunt Vera's going to visit her a couple of days. Oh, Brad, you've got a rare wife. Oh, she's a jewel. In fact, she's home right now, packing my bag. Joan, for heaven's sakes, how long is Brad going to be gone? Just two days, why? You're packing like he was leaving for good. <laughs> Brad's very fussy. He likes a clean change of shirt. <laughs> You'll be able to change every five minutes. <laughs> oh, I just love this shaving lotion of Brad's. When he wears it, he's just irresistible. Maybe it's just as well if he does change his shirt every five minutes. <laughs> huh? He's busy doing that. He won't be doing anything else. Well, Aunt Vera, what on earth are you talking about? Why well, shouldn't Brad have fun with the fellows in his class? Joan, there were also girls in his class. <laughs> well, I'm not a bit worried. I know Brad much too well for anything like that. Naturally, I'm not suggesting anything. After all, Brad is one of the few most in love folks who are almost useless. Oh, and Brad's a doll. Brad expect to do some reading? No, this is his class yearbook. Uh, he wanted to be sure and take it along so he could remember everybody's name. <laughs> Look, I'll show you something. There's Brad's picture. <laughs> Wasn't he cute? <laughs> yes. Bradley J. Stevens, holder of intercollegiate record. Swallowed 18 goldfish in one minute, six and three ten seconds. <laughs> and he did it without tartar sauce. <laughs> oh, I wish I had known Brad in those days. We wasted so much of our lives not knowing each other. Hey, what's this? What's what? The Ideal Woman, an essay by Bradley J. Stevens. Brad never told me about this. <laughs> My Ideal Woman is above all things beautiful. Oh, Brad. <laughs> she is everything a man would want in a woman. Her eyes are the brightest of stars in the bluest of skies. Her smile is dazzling. <laughs> she walks with cat-like grace. <laughs> I suppose Brad is a little prejudiced about me. <laughs> Her moods are enchanted. One moment she is pensive and languorous. The next, she is fiery and tempestuous. <laughs> Her hair is softly dark, like a warm night. Dark? <laughs> yes, like a warm night. Her figure petite and her name, Jeannie. Jeannie? Well, Jeannie is pretty close to Joanie. Petite? <laughs> dark? Well, that's the kind of a woman he wanted. Why didn't he marry her? Now, Joan. I know what happened. She jilted him. I got him on the rebound. Oh, nonsense, Joan. <laughs> Why, Brad just invented the perfect woman to go with his essay and then invented a name, Jeannie. Do you really think so, Aunt Vera? Why, of course. <laughs> yes, I, I guess I was just being silly. I don't see any Jeannie here, even. <laughs> and I'll never... Oh, no. Jeannie Richards. 
And very pretty. Now, Joe, will you stop this nonsense? Suppose he did more. What does that prove? After all, you're the one he married. You're the one he loves. No, all the time he must have been thinking of Jeannie. Oh, nonsense. Why that he hasn't given her a second thought? Why, the most it could have been was just a college romance. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just being silly. I guess. Of course you are. Now forget all about it. Oh, Joni, I'm home. Where are you? I'm uh, in the uh, bedroom, dear. Now, whatever you do, don't say anything about this to Brad. Oh, hello, Aunt Vera. How do you do? Hello, honey. Hi, dear. You uh, finished packing? Oh, yes. I hope you have a very nice time. Oh, I will. I will. I dream of Jeannie. <laughs> with cat-like grace. Oh, I wish you'd forget this genie business. It's ancient history. Well, that's what I have to find out. Is he still thinking about her? I'm going to trap him. She walks with cat-like grace. <laughs> Tight shoes. <laughs> One moment she is highly sweet, innocent, and unworldly like a country girl. The next, seductive, a sophisticated cosmopolite. New York, Paris, Madrid. They've all known her. Oh, Joan, will you stop this? This should do it. Well, Joan, what on earth? Yes, dear? Well, I don't get it. What's up? You're not yourself. Who am I? I wish I knew. Don't I remind you of anyone? Uh, someone you used to know? I hope not. Think. Well, it's all the same to you. I'd, I'd rather not. The next minute, tempestuous. A siren. tennis card and sleek body cleaving the water. Mind you and someone? 
Someone you used to know uh, intimately? Well, come to think of it, one night I had Welsh rabbit for dinner, went to bed, I was so sick, and I dreamed the terrible looking things oh. like you kept flying in the window <laughs> through the door, they had the goggles, it was just awful. <laughs> I've got it. Aunt Vera, you get out the corner call up. When Brad answers the phone, tell him you're Jeannie. I'll watch his face, then I'll know for sure. All right, if that'll convince you. Joan, will you get it? It's for you. What? I mean, I'm sure it's for you. All right. Hello? Hello, Brad. This is Charlie Henderson. Oh, it's you. It's a real pleasure talking to you twice in one day. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about that. We'll get plenty of chance to talk at the reunion. After all, I want to spend every minute with you. But no, don't worry, no trouble. No, that'll be fine. We'll clear the connecting bedroom. <laughs> I've missed you all these years. We should have gotten together before, but we'll make up for lost time. Oh, by the way, Brad, I've got that picture of last year's class reunion. I'll bring it around when I pick you up. Oh, swell, swell. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. That was, uh, Charlie Henderson. It's no use lying, Brad. I know everything. What? I know all about Jeannie. Well, you do? Well, then tell me something about her. Lies, lies. Why didn't you tell me about her? I don't know her. Do you mean to stand there and tell me that you don't know Jeannie Richards? Jeannie Richards? I was a girl in my class, a very pretty girl. There, you admit it. I don't admit a thing. Oh, you're covering up. Yes, I mean, Joan, what are you driving at? Well, I love you too much to stand your way, Brad. Go to her. Be happy. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Brad? You'll never guess who this is. Yes, Aunt Vera, what is it? <laughs> When he held me in his arms, he was holding Jeannie. When he kissed me, he was kissing Jeannie. When he told me how he liked my smile, my white TV, he was telling it to Jeannie. Joan, calm down. Well, it's true. All these years, I've been brushing Jeannie's teeth. <laughs> Think after all these years of marriage, he could run off with another woman and drop me just like that. If I were you, I'd demand at least two weeks' notice. <laughs> well, if I was his pet dog, I'd get more consideration. Before he left me, he'd have to first place me with a nice family. <laughs> Show me. If you feel that strongly about it, put your foot down and say he can't go to the reunion. After all, Jeannie is just a fading memory. Let her fade. Yeah. Well, it's worth a gamble. It's like a dice game. I gotta keep Jeannie fading. <laughs> no. How am I gonna keep Brad home? He thinks I'm being silly about Jeannie. Uh, that'd never keep him here. So... Find another way. Another way. Another way. I've got an idea. What are you looking for? A trick microphone that plugs into the radio. Huh? Yeah, Brad bought it years ago to have fun with his friends. Do your stuff. Uh, Brad. Oh, hi, Aunt Vera. Uh, do you mind if I turn on the radio? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Attention. Attention. Here is a special on-the-spot news report. I am speaking to you from Stanford University. A sudden flash flood has washed out 
all the railroad bridges leading here. No trains are getting through. Listen to the waters rising. <laughs> well, the only way you can get around is by motorboat. Here comes one now. <laughs> Anything new? See, I was out in the kitchen, and I wouldn't know what was going on, so uh, tell me, is there anything new? Well, yes, it seems all the railroad bridges are washed out going to Stanford. Guess I won't be able to go. Oh, what a shame. Those nasty bridges. And I know how you had your heart set on going, dear. Well, on second thought, who needs the train? I'll, I'll fly up. Well, I gotta get back to the kitchen. <laughs> Here's another special news report from your on-the-spot reporter in Stanford. A heavy storm has followed the flood. What a wind! <laughs> Trees are breaking like matchsticks. <laughs> Listen to that thunder. was the wind screaming. Sounded almost human, didn't it? Anyway, no planes are permitted to land. Flyers are warned to keep away. Oh, those big DC-6s don't have to worry about a little rough weather. Attention all DC-6 flyers. This includes you. Turn back. Well, I guess I can't fly up. Looks like no reunion for me. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I getting so upset about? I'll drive up. I'm a public official. I can get through. I'll just show them my badge. About that Stanford flood, no public officials are being allowed through. Only motorists permitted are doctors. You got that? Only doctors. No judges. No judges? No judges. Well, I guess that's it. No reunion for me. <sighs> Anything new? What's up? I've been in the kitchen. Uh, didn't hear a thing. Uh, anything new? Brad can't go to the reunion. What a shame. Oh, I'm so sorry, you poor, poor dear. Oh, my. Yes, the only thing that can save my trip is a miracle, and well, miracles never happen. Guess I'll go for a walk. Am I a genius? Admit it. Come on, admit it. In a small way, yes. <laughs> Here's another special news report. A miracle has just happened. The flood at Stanford has disappeared. This is station VRAD, signing off. Good night. <laughs> Vera, what will I do now? You're the genius. You think of something. I feel sick. <laughs> Say, that's it. Hmm? You, playing like you're sick. That'll keep him home. I knew I'd think of something. <laughs> no, he'd never fall for that. But what if we made him think that he was sick? What? Why, how can you do a thing like that? Psychology. And I know just how to work it. First, we turn the heat all the way up. Oh, my, it's hot in here. I wish Brad would hurry. I'm about to wilt. Oh, it isn't that hot. <laughs> well, I'm all packed and ready to go. All I have to do is wait for Charlie. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, Aunt Vera? It is. I'm glad you've stopped your nonsense about Jeannie and finally decided to trust me. Of course I trust you, dear. You go have a nice time. Well, that's more like it. Say, it's uh, <coughs> awfully hot in here. Hot? Oh, it's chilly. I'm practically shivering. Oh. Well, I feel awfully hot. I... 
Long, cold. Uh, Joni, if you're going to get a sweater, I'll go with you. Now, dear. Boy, I'm burning up. Well, I'm still cold. Ooh, me too. Ooh, come on, let's. Whoa. You ready? girls be so cold when I'm roasting. Brad, are, are you sure you're feeling all right, dear? Well, of course I feel all right. <laughs> Should have brought my mittens, too. Let me just have coffee and we'll get warmed up, dear. Thank you. Uh, a little hot coffee, dear? Of course not, Angel. It's awfully funny. Well, we're so cold and you're so hot. Goodness, he, he's burning up. Oh, let me help you. Oh, honey, so cool. uh, Aunt Vera, go at the medicine cabinet, get the thermometer right away, dear. Come on, now, don't get excited. Just lie down, dear. Here, You're you burning are, up, Joe. sweetheart. I, I think he's got it. Got what? Potulitis. Potulitis? <laughs> Never heard of it. Well, it's a brand new disease, dear. But, honey, I feel perfectly all right. This is just ridiculous. I don't. I mean, Anna. Ooh. I find there's a coffee taste in my mouth. The first symptom. The patient always complains of a coffee taste in his mouth. It's potulitis, all right. Mm. Joan. Oh, no. Joan. Joan. What's the matter? What's my temperature? <laughs> 117. Oh, what? 117? Oh, 117? No, no, that's impossible, dear. I feel perfectly all right. Here, let me, let me look at the thermometer. <laughs> I knew it. Only 109. 109? That's just as bad. Here, get me to bed. I, Call Dr. Snyder immediately. I, I am not well. I know, dear, dear. dear. But don't worry, it's a 48-hour disease. You'll be back on the bench in no time. Oh, I know, but this is it, you know. Honey, take care of him. I'll be there, dearest. I, uh... Hello, my name is Henderson. Is uh, Brad around? Oh, don't come in. Uh, he's suddenly been taken ill. Uh, it might be contagious. What? Contagious? Oh, well, I just saw him this morning, and he was fine. Hit him just like that. What's this? Oh, this is a picture of last year's class reunion. Brad wanted it so he'd be able to recognize some of his old classmates. Oh, well, I'll see that he gets it. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Yes, Red, I'll get the doctor. What's this? A picture of last year's reunion. Uh, let's see what Jeannie looks like now. Oh, uh, here's the list at the bottom. Don't get your hopes up. You know, some women get prettier as they get older. Oh, here it is. Uh, Jeannie Richards, third row, uh, fourth in the left. <gasps> Look. She's fat and ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a change. Mm, a real man. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Huh? Well, if Brad went to the reunion and saw what's become of Jeannie, she'd be out of his system forever. Oh, now, Joan. Gotta get him well. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Joan, I'll get his things. Brad. Brad, honey, get up. You're not sick. You never were sick in the first place. Come on, you've got to get to that reunion. Oh, who cares about the reunion? I'm sick as a dog. I got potulitis. <laughs> no, honey, no, you haven't. I just turned the heat up to make you think you had a fever. Now, come but on. Honey, I'm sick. I'm right, sick. Brad, Please. You're just no, you're fine. fine. Oh, no, I'm fine. 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 I'm f
One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is it? What's the matter? Three. I, I, I thought number three was Jeannie Richards. What does number four look like? Oh, Aunt Vera. What? Jeannie is a doll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a human doll. It's Keeps my heart laughing, never know where her brain is going.